I don't know how many of you sometimes struggle with whether your life has a meaning or if God really cares for you, but I do sometimes. And one scripture that's always been so special to me is in Psalms 139. I praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. And there's another verse that's in Ephesians, that for we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works. And what I really love is that he can take the simple things that many of us will ignore or think aren't special and just walk by them. And in my case, it's a flower. Many times the church has flowers left over from each Sunday. I don't have to, I get to go and deliver these flowers to people they may have been forgotten or may feel discouraged or may just need their boost in the day. And rarely have I had people turn it down and saying that they don't want to have the flowers. And to me, what's so significant is that one ordinary object, a flower, and an ordinary person, when it's working hand in hand with God, can create extraordinary things. There's a story I call um, my triple cake story. When I'm with my flowers, I try to pray with them and ask God, where do you want me to send them? This time when I was praying, I was hearing that I'm supposed to take it to the Wendy's restaurant. Wendy's? <laughs> Lord, are you sure? So when I went to Wendy's, the, the manager there was very, very kind and accommodating and said, yes, of course, you can give these flowers to my customers as they come in. But then there was one family where a mother and her daughter came walking in. And as soon as the mother heard me say, do you want these flowers? She started crying. And I asked her why. And she said, I have another daughter and today is her birthday. I had taken her to Publix and I'd asked her if I could buy her some flowers. And she said, Mom, I know that we're having tr trouble with our money, so no, you don't need to give me some flowers. And so not only did I give her one flower, I gave her enough to make a huge bouquet because God wanted her birthday to be noted and for this woman to know and her daughter to know that he loved her. The second layer of the cake is I had heard one of my neighbors down the street who I didn't really know had cancer. And so I thought, well, it'd be good to give some of these flowers to her. When I went up to the place, her children were playing outside in the driveway. And instead of bothering her, because I know that because I had cancer, I know that sometimes you need to rest. So I gave the vase with the flowers to the children. And I said, I'll be coming back a week later to pick up these flowers. And so a week later, I came up to the driveway and I knocked on the door. And the woman was not the woman I thought I had. I had gone to the wrong address. The lady, they answered the door. She said, you're the one that's given me these flowers. You know, when you deliver those flowers, my husband was away and I have all these little children and no one was realizing it was my birthday. And I couldn't help but think God was saying happy birthday to me. The third layer of the, the triple layer cake is July 30th is my birthday. And on that day, it was a Sunday. So I was dressed up to go to church and I decided to wear a sunflower dress that I have because sunflowers are my most favorite flower. And wouldn't you know, I looked at the altar table and there were three different bouquets all filled with sunflowers. And I had tears in my eyes like, I knew that my God was telling me, Melanie, I know you. I've made these paths for you. I hear your hidden thoughts. I delight in having you and all my children do my work. And so I say to you, I am a missionary sent by God, and you know what? So are you.